charge for the mid game. I'm sorry, give me one second here. I'm going to turn the sound effects on. There we go. Ooh, sorry. It's a little bit too loud. Sorry about this. I just know that some people like the sound effects. I can hear the certain global skills that make noise and dropping of boards and whatnot. And we will see the Witch Doctor rotating back towards mid with this Demon Witch, and it seems like they will be the dual lane to combat the dual lane of the AM and Dazzle. And we will see the Earthshaker Windrunner dual lane against this Puck. Now, I'm not sure about this Earthshaker. He's not going to be doing anything except soaking up the XP from this point right now. I feel like it'd be a better idea if he went and roamed back towards mid and went for a game. And uh, he went to top. And then we see a stun coming out on this entry range. Tyrus going out. Shadow Bear with a little preemptive right clicks, right clicks. Alright, and we see a blink coming off the edge. Ooh, what a nice blink. Blocking off from behind. Excuse me from running. And then blinking off the edge. We see Dazzle coming out with the first blink. Excuse me from running. And then... We see Dazzle coming out with the first blood, getting that last hit on the line, and then we see AM running back and getting that last hit on the Witch Doctor. And the Cinema coming away with two early kills. This is huge for them. It's like the anti mage can get big in the early game, following into the mid game. This game will be done. Unless the Silver Bear can get big. The Silver Bear is trying to juke over here at Veil of Health as well as the Shadow Demon at Low Health. This is not looking good for the Silver Bears. This Army Knight is at full health. At the very best, it seems like he can hope to get the Shadow Demon, but we'll see the Shadow Demon pop his salvage. He cancels the salvage Shadow Demon. He's trying to run out. Oh, a disruption goes off, and we will see a purification followed by some right clicks, and that is it, son. Now, I'm sorry about that. See the Earthshaker hiding over here in the jungle as they have realized that this dual lane of Shadow Demon and Omni Knight will be too much for the Silver Bear and that he will definitely need some help. Just combating the, the disruption, Soul Catcher Purification is such a good combo, it's going to be devastating for him and anybody else that they do this to. Back down here, we again see this. Bottom solo laners going against each other. This, I think, is the best way for these teams to play it. I personally enjoy Puck in this matchup. I believe Phase Shift is an extremely good skill. That, uh, to me, one runner really needs to land her skills to do necessary damage to get kills, and Puck being able to Phase Shift one of them, I just think it's huge. Sorry, I didn't talk about this, but see, Pierce Witch Doctor dropped a ward down here. Now, the reason he drops the ward here and not here, when essentially both the motor function of each ward is to protect this bottom lane, you can drop this ward from down here and not put yourself in serious danger over here. Or you cannot put yourself, you don't put yourself in serious danger up on this ramp. Of course, you still give good vision of the jungle to not give up any serious or bad ganks to your opponent. You see he is gonna try to hide in the jungle here. Get a stun off the Kuma ooh. I mean I think he could have done it just to get some damage off if it would have been a good idea. So you see we're stuck at the lane to do some harassment on this mid lane. Like I said, this Dazzle has a lot of health going for him. He's already used all his Tillingos, but having his heal, as well as ha having those salves as he pops one of them, yeah. you can be a fan of that. However, happens, I guess. There's more harass goes off, but an impale going on. The Dazzle, <coughs> sorry, but an impale going on, the Dazzle is stopping. The, the Witch Doctor with very low health. Salving up, gonna find an illusion rune and run back towards mid. Scourge is doing a very good job of picking up all the runes and not letting the Sentinel get any of them. They've really been able to get some harass off and kind of 
shave the, you know, favor of the lane in their control. And you see the earth shaker is going to be pulling up there. Trying to get that creep equilibrium back for the civil there so he's able to fall. Because this is very dangerous out here for him. To be honest with you, if they go on him, he dies. But they have no idea where the earth shaker is. He could very well be right here, just getting ready to stun. 26, 26, and 12 for the Windrunners. Animation winning out. As I can see, the Windrunners animation winning out because it is a better animation. Getting more of the CS, but like I said, I believe the couple will ultimately win the lane. Because I believe once the skills get high enough, he'll be able to force the Windrunner, or Puck will be able to force the Windrunner out of lane. I don't believe the Windrunner will really be able to do this to him. The on that shadow demon tried to come in on that pull, but it didn't really happen for him. Is Demon Witch picking up another room? There's see no boards up for the Sentinel team right now. We're, weren't able to tell where the room was at, didn't get it. A little bit of an advantage for the war for the set score the settle team. But we see an impale followed by a cast, followed by and the shallow grave going on to save him momentarily as he's able to get the last hit on the lion before dying. Now AM was cut out a little bit too far. I'm not really sure he should have been there without Dazzle, because Dazzle's back here getting wards. And I'm sorry, Dazzle's back there getting a healing south. And you can't really die in the middle lane to these two. It's just not really on the menu for you. Even though you did get that kill on that Demon Witch, it really doesn't matter. Trading yourself for a Demon Witch isn't a trade at all. You pretty much lost that engagement. All the gold that you might have made killing that lion, you lost dying anyways. So, not really ideal. Antimus sitting on 22 and 4.